Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Today, we have the review of the EdBiz C7 dual security camera. The C7 Dual is a security camera that allows us to monitor our home or business from anywhere at any time. All we need is a Wi-Fi internet connection to connect the camera to, and we also need internet on our smartphone, either via Wi-Fi or mobile data, to view live footage from the camera. As a novelty, and unlike almost all of the cameras we've seen on the channel, the C7 Dual is fully compatible with 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi networks, so we won't have any compatibility issues with the connection. As its name suggests, the 2K Dual is a security camera with a dual lens, with a maximum resolution of 2K+. However, as always, we can reduce this resolution if our internet connection is not very stable. In this case, thanks to the two lenses, we're going to get a practically 360 degree view with the camera. On one side, with the fixed lens, which is the one down below, we manage to always have a certain area under control. On the other hand, with the moving lens, the one up above, we can move around without ever losing sight of the area below. In this case, it has a two-way microphone and speaker, so we can speak through the camera and be heard, as well as hear ourselves what is happening around it. It also has night vision via infrared, which automatically activates when it detects there is low light, so we're not going to lose any vision even if it gets dark or we turn off the light. Regarding detection and warnings, it is capable of recognizing both human figures and animal figures, so if we configure it in a certain way, it can notify us on the mobile phone when it detects a certain type of figure. This, for example, can be useful if we have a pet at home that we are not receiving constant notifications of movement from the dog or cat, but rather it detects that it is an animal and avoids the notifications. In addition to this, it also has a patrol mode, which makes movement sweeps all the time so that we are covering the widest possible range all the time. In this case, it does not have internal memory, but we can add a micro SD card to make recordings of up to 512 gigabytes. Also, it's fully compatible with Alexa and Google Home. Finally, it's available at a price of 90 euros. Below, as always, I leave you a direct link in case you want to grab one. And now, yes, guys, once we have seen the features, we go to the unboxing. Well, guys, as for the contents of the box, the first thing we are going to find of course, it is the security camera that is this one that we have here, and as always now, we are going to set it aside to see it later in detail. As for the accessories, we have the basics on one hand, which are the instructions and quick start guide. On the other hand, we also have the mounting elements in case we want to put it on the ceiling. We find the hole guide on one hand so that we don't fail when drilling the holes. We also have the piece that is located at the bottom of the camera, which we will use to anchor it to the ceiling. And on the other hand, we have a bag with the plugs and screws. You should know that the C7 Dual can be put both straight on top of any piece of furniture and also turned over and put on the ceiling with the elements that I have just described. And finally, we have the elements of the electrical power connection. We get the network adapter, which is this one here with a USB input, and then we also get the connecting cable. It's a USB-C cable that we need to connect to the camera and then the USB that goes to the network adapter. In this case, it's a rubber cable and its length is two meters. So guys, once we've seen the unboxing, we move to the really interesting part, which is seeing the camera in detail. The C7 Dual weighs 300 grams. As you can see, it's practically spherical, except at the bottom, which is a bit flatter to be able to attach the support. Regarding its dimensions, it's approximately 10 centimeters in total diameter, both in height and width. As you can observe, the camera is divided into two areas, the bottom part in white and the top part in black. The bottom part, the white part, is the fixed part, meaning this is the area that we will always have focusing on the same place. On the other hand, as you can see, the top part, the black part, is the mobile part, meaning it's the part that we can move to focus wherever we want. The connections are located in the fixed part, on one side, we have the slot to insert a micro SD card. On the other side, we have the USB-C port to connect the camera to the electricity. And we also have a small button to reset the camera to factory settings. If we continue with the back, we move on to the upper area, the mobile part, and find the camera speaker. If we move on to the front, as you can observe, and as you've seen before, 
We have the two lenses on the front, the fixed and the mobile. Both, as I mentioned before, have the same resolution, 2K+. Finally, just below the fixed lens, we find the indicator LED along with the two microphones. Once we've seen the camera in detail, we're going to carry out the steps to connect it to our smartphone. The first thing we have to do is download the EdBiz application, which is available on both Android and iOS. Once you've downloaded it, open the application. Once you have the application open, you'll reach the step to enter with your account. If you've already owned an EdBiz camera, you'll be able to log in with your own account. If not, you'll have to click below where it says create a new account. After completing this step, in either way, whether with an already created account or by creating a new account, you'll land on the main page of the application. Now we're going to leave the mobile phone here and start connecting the camera. We take the camera and the USB-C cable and plug it in. As you can see, several sensors are going to start lighting up and after a few seconds you'll notice how the camera begins to move. There we have it. It makes the first move, centers itself. They've turned off already. Alright, now the camera has spoken to us and as you can see the LED starts flashing blue. Once you reach this point we leave the camera and head back to the application. Once in the application we can click on the plus symbol in the upper right corner and from there select add device. As you can see, we're going to select that it's a camera. And now it'll prompt us to scan the camera's QR code. So very easy, we just take the camera, turn it over. As you can see, the QR is down there. We simply focus with the mobile on the QR code and it quickly detects that it is a C7 Jewel. We click here where it indicates the device is on. We click on next. It tells us that we need a good Wi-Fi connection. We are simply going to hit start. Now we click on the indicator flashes blue because as you have seen before we've left at that point, the indicator, the LED is flashing blue. We hit next and now it's going to ask us to put the password of the Wi-Fi network. In this case, as you can see, I'm going to do it with the five gigahertz Wi-Fi network. You can do it with both the 2.4 and the five but it is no longer mandatory in this camera to do it with the 2.4 network. Let's do it with the 5 without any problem. Once we have the password set, we are going to click on next and the camera will start to be configured. Now, as you can see, it's asking us for access to the Wi-Fi network. Let's click access. It says connecting to Wi-Fi. There it is. It's now in settings. It's already connected and we have it. Okay, please wait. Connection established. The camera has already spoken to us here. We can give it a name. No, we're not going to do anything. We can put it in a room, but not now. Let's click done. And as you'll see, the network is now quickly being configured. This doesn't take long. As you see, it indicates that it has been successfully registered. It's now reached 100%. Adding the device. Let's wait a little longer. Okay, setup complete. It welcomes us. The camera talks a lot. We keep waiting a little longer and finally, as you can see, we're fully connected now. The device is fully registered. Let's click here. We don't want to do the CloudPlay free trial. Let's remove the tick from the free trial, this one down here, so that it does not record the images now. In the cloud, if you want, you can try it. I'm going to remove it. We click on view device and after clicking here, we'll see that directly as soon as it loads the first time, the main page of the application will appear again and we have two different windows appearing. If we click on any of them, we'll see how it enters the camera and shows us the images live. There we have it, it moves. Well, by doing this, we already have the camera perfectly connected to the Wi-Fi network of our home and available to view it from the mobile phone. Now let's quickly see the functions that the camera has. As you can see, once the camera is connected, two different views will appear. The top one is the fixed camera, and the one at the bottom is the moving part. Truth is, they could have been the other way around, but hey, it is what it is. If we enter each of them, we will be able to see the live images and have all the options. As you can observe, we have the typical options of these security cameras, where we can start or pause a recording, activate the speaker, take a photo, make a clip, activate the microphone, change the image resolution to a lower one if needed or for example if we click on the more 
we will also be able to define what I mentioned earlier about the automatic patrol, which will make it move automatically from time to time so that it is patrolling. On the other hand, if we wanted to see the two lenses at the same time, that is have both the fixed camera and the mobile one at the same time, we're simply going to click up here where it says multiple screens and what it will do is charge both of them at the same time. As you can see, in this way we have both cameras working simultaneously and if we put it here, it's going to show that we're here above, touching with our fingers, and we're going to see the live images from both. Well guys, that's the review for the Edbiz C7 dual security camera. As always, if this video has been useful, don't forget to give me a good like, which is super important, and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. For my part, that's all. As always, a pleasure, and see you in the next video.